Waves are one of the most abundant and consistent sources of energy on Earth. Worldwide, they are said to be capable of producing enough electricity to power almost four of our planets. So why haven't we tapped into that goldmine of energy yet? It turns out that scientists and engineers have been trying to crack the code for wave energy ever since the late 18th century. While significant progress has been made since then, there hasn't yet been any single revolutionary breakthrough that provides the answer. Here's why. Waves are created at sea when wind blows for a prolonged period of time. This is essentially an energy transfer process between the wind and sea. The water isn't actually traveling in the direction of the wave. Instead, it moves in a circular motion or what is known as oscillations. This is really common in nature. Think of a person on a swing. Together they move to and fro in a sweeping arc, but never actually move further forward or backwards past those critical points. If we graph the motion, it would look something like this. Waves behave in a very similar way. They are, however, incredibly efficient in transporting this energy, which is why they can travel for hundreds of kilometers and still release a massive amount of energy in shallower water. The problem with this type of motion is that there is no straightforward way to convert it into useful energy. If water did move in the direction of a wave, you could simply put a turbine in the ocean facing the oncoming waves and it would happily spin and produce electricity. Turbines are used to produce the vast majority of our electricity as it is proven to be by far the most efficient method to do so. Our major power sources such as oil and gas, wind, hydro and nuclear use a turbine to generate energy through either a moving fluid or a gas. In fact, most of the existing wave energy capture technologies use a turbine too, but they are not nearly as efficient at doing so. This problem has led to the development of a huge variety of innovative solutions. These technologies attempt to use the various motions that a floating or submerged body experiences to produce electricity. Consider a buoy floating in the ocean. It bobs up and down as the waves pass by. This motion is known as heaving and can be used to compress fluid in a hydraulic system or to power a linear generator. Some technologies use the potential energy of captured water to power a turbine. Another concept takes advantage of the fact that shore breaking waves have much more horizontal or surge motion and can be used to push and pull a giant flap. Newer technologies include an underwater carpet which absorbs energy from waves while another features a constantly swinging weight inside which continually tries to recenter the device as it rocks. The challenges that each of these technologies face are many. The ocean is a brutal environment and designing a system that can survive hurricanes, storms and constant exposure to the elements is a real challenge. However, advancements in fluid dynamic software have allowed engineers to quickly simulate their concepts, thus streamlining the design process. Environmental impacts on any newly implemented ocean structure is also an ongoing concern. Any technology with moving parts or that emits sound, vibrations and magnetic energy have the potential to disrupt marine ecosystems. They may reduce coastal erosion, but may also interfere with sand depositing and the mixture of nutrients essential for marine life. Tourism in coastal towns and recreational users of the ocean, such as surfers and fishermen, may also be impacted by these technologies. There are clearly a wide range of WEC concepts out there. This is one of the reasons why wave energy has not yet taken off. Perhaps more than one winner will emerge from the pack and several concepts will work in tandem to optimize the wave energy generating potential. It is also quite possible that the solution has not yet been found. Perhaps the most significant hurdle of all will be the ability to compete with other energy generating technologies in terms of cost. That being said, industry experts are optimistic that prices will deflate as companies compete to provide electricity from wave power. One thing is for sure though, waves will play a massive part in the future of humanity. If we can just tap into that enormous power that the ocean holds, we may unlock the door to solving the energy crisis that we currently face.